All right, let's start with a quick story here. This story is centered around Fort Lauderdale suburbs, a veteran attorney of 25 years. It's around 1997. And this is an attorney who knew his stuff, right? What he had going for him was he was a great attorney, knew how to litigate, knew how to do real estate closings, knew how to represent businesses, had a lot of experience. He had a okay amount of clients, not tons, but it just wasn't enough for him. He wanted more. He saw his friends and other attorneys and people that he graduated University of Florida with having lots of success. And he wanted the same. But he really didn't understand how to run a business, how to run a law firm, or marketing. So one day he got a call. There was someone that he knew, a previous client who also sent him real estate closings and said, hey, there's a young guy. He's looking for a job. He just graduated law school. He's going to be taking the bar soon. Would you talk with him? Yeah, sure. He said, I'll talk to him. So graduate came into the office and said, hey, I'd love to do real estate. I'd love to see what litigation's about. I'd love to find a job soon. So hired him. He worked there until he passed the bar a few months later. And the beautiful thing about this young law student slash new graduate was that he had a lot of expertise with marketing. He helped run real estate businesses. He had a real estate license. He grew up in a family that owned businesses. And so he had a book of business from the get-go. He had been networking as soon as he was in college with all kinds of people, all kinds of people that could bring in business to this firm. The difference maker for this veteran attorney was that he didn't want to do the marketing. He didn't want to learn the marketing. He even had a coach that gave him bunches of tips, didn't want to do it. But this new attorney within six months became a partner because that new attorney had all kinds of expertise and kept reading and growing and learning and trying to understand business as much as he could. Law partner, six months later, several years, about three or four years later, the duo had three offices, two different offices for the law firm all over Fort Lauderdale area and did really well for 10 years until they end up splitting when the real estate market took a dump in 2007. So who was I in this? I was the associate who was hired and then became a partner very quickly. This is the difference maker for you, depending on whether you're a solo, you're in a law firm and you're a partner or you're an associate. It doesn't matter what kind of law firm you work for. If you're an associate, if you're in big law, small law, it doesn't matter. This is the difference maker for understanding marketing, building a marketing plan, and then taking that plan and implementing it. In this article, I'm going to share with you some unbelievable tips and tools that I use to build my law practice, that I use when I coach and consult with attorneys and small businesses, that I use in the programs that I've created for small businesses and attorneys. I want you to build your marketing plan. And if you have a simple one, or you've got one that you haven't implemented, I'd like you to begin implementation. This article is going to show you the way. It's going to give you quite a bit of information. So let's continue on. Keep reading. Let's create a marketing plan for you and your firm. <music>